Are you not cold? Look, look, come on. I would, I will, I, I'm there, because I'm in three stands forever. question that's come up quite a bit in the Clubhouse platform recently, uh, I host the Street Photographers Club on there, yeah? it's a room, we do it kind of several times a, uh, a week, um, is what do I think about shooting from the hip? Well, I have nothing against shooting from the hip or shooting uh, from wherever, however we need, whatever we need to do to get the shot, right? But shooting from here is not always, uh, not necessarily always the best uh, vantage point, right? More often than not, for me, it kind of is. And uh, I have no problem, I shoot from the hip sometimes, but I don't shoot from the hip because I'm scared that people are gonna notice me taking the photograph. I don't shoot from the hip for that reason. I think if, if you're doing that, if you're kind of hiding away, if you're this side of fear, so to speak, then the progression you make relative to your growth as a photographer is going to be it's going to be slow at best but we need to use fear see quite often especially when photographers are just starting out they're puppets on the end of fear's string and we can use fear as a gauge of where we're at we can use it to as a, to challenge ourselves because see for me it's like there's me and then there's fear and then there's the world out there yeah if I'm shooting this side of fear, I'm never gonna really be able to see with that much depth of clarity. You know, I'm, I'm never gonna be able to see kind of beneath the surface level of things. And in actual fact, what I do quite often when I'm out shooting, most of the time in fact, is I'll set myself a challenge, little challenges, two or three challenges at times, at the beginning of the, the shoot day, because I've seen that like, if I set up myself a little challenge, it could be that I'm gonna ask two or three strangers if I could take their photograph. Or it could be that I'm a little bit hesitant in a, with a, a, a composition here to, I know the image will be better if I take two or three steps in, and I take two or three steps, maybe even a fourth step in, and I'm scared, but then I push through. We've all had an experience of this, on the, like getting to the other side of fear. What happens when we do that, that fear dissolves temporarily, and then we have to set another challenge, right? But that fear dissolves, and then we're on the other side of fear, and then we beca everything becomes a lot more vibrant, we're a lot more alert to what's going on around us. Uh, the symmetry, the play of light, um, just composition, and just literally seeing, <laughs> seeing what's there, rather than uh, that filtered perception, which is basically how we see things when we live in our heads, right? Talking to ourselves. Scared. Uh, just a thought. <laughs>